Morning everyone. Uh, today's gonna be a little bit cooler of a day for us. It's supposed to be uh, mostly cloudy for today. And our chance of rain that we were supposed to have like the 80-90% has now dropped to 40%. And it looks like we may not get rain again this evening like we're supposed to. And a slight chance of rain for tomorrow, a slight chance of rain for Saturday, and that's it. So all that rain we were supposed to get, I don't know if we're gonna get it. Hopefully we do get it, but uh, not looking good. So today we have uh, about four lawns to do, and we're gonna start on some of uh, tomorrow's uh, route. So uh, let's get the trailer loaded up and let's get started. I'm working by myself a little bit this morning for a little while. Vicky's got some stuff to take care of at home there. Um, one thing I've noticed this morning, every neighborhood I pull into is quiet. There's no lawnmowers, no weed whackers, no leaf blowers blowing. And I, I just realized it this morning when I got up and uh, I can always hear leaf blowers and things running in the, in the distance and I didn't hear nothing. So uh, there's a lot of lawn care companies that are not doing a lot of work just like us. So it's, uh, it makes it for quiet neighborhoods, but um, I think it's going to be uh, different around this area. So the way the weather pattern has been going this year, I've been talking to several other lawn care companies, even a couple of them in different states, and it's uh, the same thing with everybody. Everybody's getting done early and going doing other things just because there's no work to be done. Everything's all burned up. You can only do so many things for so long, and then uh, you're out of work. So we're kind of treating this like a little mini vacation and uh, just going to extra things that we normally wouldn't have time to do. So it's kind of nice to have that extra time, but um, at the same time, it's uh, not nice to have that extra money. So um, I'll be uh, looking at two more yards here, uh, see if they need to be cut, which I don't think they will be. There's one that I haven't cut in a month, and I still don't think it's going to need to be cut. Maybe a couple weeds I might weed whack down just to make it look like something, but other than that, I probably won't be cutting that either. So I'll get back with you after these uh, yards here. Well, I was able to mow that one yard, or one of the two yards there. The one I haven't been there in a month, and basically all it is, mow the weeds down and eat a whole bunch of dust. But it's done. I'll come back to that one probably one more time this year, and that'll be it for that one. Actually, the whole neighborhood is probably only about one, maybe two more times this year, and then we'll be done with it. And it's just uh, it's the way that neighborhood is. It's uh, about August. We don't cut the grass there anymore because it just doesn't grow. So uh, on to the next yard. Picked up Vicky. We did one more yard, and now we're going to go check on two yards. Or, yeah, two yards in the same neighborhood to see if them can be cut. And if we can't cut them, we've got one more yard to check on. And I'm not so sure that one's going to need to be cut. We didn't cut it last week because it was all yellow, and I'm not sure if it's going to need to be cut. And then there, we have one more yard left. That one takes about an hour and a half to do. So that's the one I do at the end of Thursday, every Thursday, I guess. And that'll get us to about 1 o'clock today, and then we'll be done again early. So uh, I guess we'll work on our yard or work on our house. So uh, see you after these yards. Okay, we can't cut any yards in this neighborhood, but we stopped to visit with a couple customers because uh, ladies, what would she say? She's 86 years old, and we haven't talked to her in a couple weeks, so we like to stop and talk to them anyhow. So we got one more yard to check, and I don't think that's going to need to be cut either. And then there's the one after that that we will be cutting because it does have a sprinkler system unless it starts raining, which I hope it does rain. I can still work in around that and do that another day or whatever, but it don't look promising yet. So uh, on to the next yard. Okay, I don't even know if I'm gonna get a video today of us doing any lawns. This is uh, not looking good. Uh, might be able to get something out there, the big yard out there. Let's see what I can do with that. I just have to set you up with a camera someplace and get what I can get, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Set up in a flower bed someplace and nobody sees it. That's all I'm going to try and do. Because other than that, we have maybe one more that we could do. Which I think we could probably do that. But we'll see what happens here. Um, 
Which one's that? Uh, the one for tomorrow where the shrubs are all trimmed. So that one's uh, going to take quite a bit of work. Yeah. So we're going to blow all the shrubs out of that one. Do all the edging. Because we'd have to do the other one too. Then. Yeah, and that's the problem. We got Because we do one and we got to do another one and that's... I don't know. We'll see what happens. So off to the next yard.
sat right there for a long, long time. And, uh, this uh, house was built probably 20 years ago. It took about two and a half, three years to build it. The uh, reason why I know all that is when I was a kid, I used to fish here every single day. I grew up in this neighborhood. And we watched this house being built for two and a half years. I grew up in a little house uh, just over there on the other side of them big trees there. And it was, uh, I don't know if you can see the rooftop there or not. Can't home bell see on the camera here until I get home. But uh, this is where I grew up. This is where I spent my summers. Every single day is out on this water. Okay, just finished up this big old yard. We were talking to, or Vicky was talking to another lawn, or lawn care company. What were you saying? They were? Well, they were just talking about because we're in such a severe drought and we're all concerned about everybody's lawns. In the lawns that have irrigation, we don't have problems with them. I mean, there will be some dry spots, but the ones that don't have irrigation, um, pretty much the grass is pretty much going to be dead now. Um, if we do get rain, it'll be amazing if the grass will come back, but most likely the grass is going to have to be reseeded next year. And there's going to have to be a lot of work put back into these lawns just to get them back to where they were. Yeah. And they have, they're a crew of three guys and they're doing 10 yards a day. So. And usually they start, you know, six in the morning and work till four in the afternoon. Um, they put through a lot of lawns in a day and because of the drought, they're just, you know, they're not cutting and they're going to a lawn because they need to cut the lawn because the customer will call them and say, hey, I want you to come cut my lawn. And then they get there and they change their mind. And the customer decides once they got there that they better not cut it. So they're going through the same stuff that we are. Um, it's just not good. So and then when we get to a yard like this and that, we just cut there. And I was uh, 
telling you about you know because this is my this is my uh childhood was in this neighborhood we just we run this whole place wild because there was no houses here when i was a kid none of these houses were here so we had pretty much run of the whole neighborhood with nobody around so uh so when i get to the when this yard became available or a guy called me told me that he was looking for bids uh, i wanted a yard just because i have a kind of an emotional attachment to the yard and i just wanted to cut it so that's one of them things where you become attached to something and that's my attachment to this neighborhood still it's the only attachment i got left is just that yard is because we i spent so much time on that yard when i was a kid fishing so that is our last yard for the day uh, i just got to empty out the clippings out of the mower and uh, we're done because uh, we could go do a couple more but um it's uh it's just not our scheduled day and don't like to confuse everybody right and that's where uh the next ones we go to the one lady is 93 years old and we just i don't want to change up their schedules because they have a schedule of certain things get done certain days and i just don't want to i don't like messing that up so uh we're gonna go empty out the trailer right now okay just emptied out the trailer i forgot to mention one thing about that last year that we did in that customer if that guy's home which is most of the time he comes out and talks to us every single time and the only time he doesn't talk to us is when he's not there but he thanks us for doing a good job on his yard every single time because he has friends over and they compliment him on his yard and he can afford him and his wife can afford to have everything done for them and he's out there doing a lot of it himself yeah he has a guy there pulling a lot of stuff and making sure all the flower beds and everything are all good but he is also out there pulling weeds and spraying for ants i don't know if it showed up on a video but we showed him a bunch of ants or well, there's a whole bunch of ants there in the area there and uh, he went out and sprayed them so they don't ruin his lawn uh, you don't see too many people with that much money doing that stuff and he's one of them guys that's i don't know i, I really like the guy He's a really super nice guy. Never met his wife because she's always working, but um, yeah, he's super nice to us. So, and we appreciate them customers that come out and talk to us because there's customers uh, we haven't even met. We've cut their dry lawns for three or four years and don't even know what they're don't even know what they look like. We've never met them, but anyhow. So that is gonna be the end of our video for today. I uh, thank you for watching and subscribing. If you could check out the links in the description box below, it would be greatly appreciated. And? And good night and see you at the next yard.